Welcome back, everyone, to our prayer journey with my toth as we continue stepping through the book of Mark, one verse at a time today, chapter 14, verses 42 through 53. But before we stop there, we got to make our journey to the book of Luke, chapter 2 and verse 14. And we'll read a few verses there. If you have a Bible, I would turn there because you're going to be blessed by what we find here. In uh, chapter 2, verse 14, it says, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill to men. This is the banner put over our, our Christmas cards because Jesus is being announced to the world. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord had made known to us. These shepherds were the shepherds that raised sheep to be used for the sacrifice in the temple. The once a year sacrifice of that perfect lamb without blemish that the priest would come and pick out and turn over to his representative to be delivered unharmed into the temple in Jerusalem. The perfect lamb picked out by hand. I could imagine the shepherd that had to deliver this and was excited because his sheep was picked. God gave him the perfect sheep. I could see him taking him and give him a little kiss before he hands him over to the high priest to be delivered. What a joy for this man. But the joy is really for the whole world because when that happened, that perfect sheep Jesus was delivered in the flesh and the shepherds got to see it first because they raised the sheep for the temple. Now let us bring us back to chapter 14 and verse 43. And I want you to see a little bit of a picture here. And immediately when he spoke, remember he was in the garden. He said, I'm going to be betrayed Somebody's going to turn me over. And here comes Judas, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves from the chief priest and the scribe and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given him a token, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that is the same. Take him and lead him away safely. It was an identifying mark for Judas to kiss Jesus and turn him over. He didn't do it with compassion. He did it as, this is the mark. Come and get him. But who did he deliver him to? The chief priest. He turned him over. Do you see how unique and impossible scripture really is? Here, Jesus is born. And now here, he is betrayed with a kiss and hand it over to the people that will take care of his sacrifice. The perfect lamb going to the cross. And soon as he came, he goeth straightway to him and say, Master, and kissed him. You notice he didn't call him Lord. He called him Master. He gave him the kiss. He identified him. And they laid their hands on him and took him. And one of them that stood by drew a sword and smote the servant on the ear, and a uh, uh, servant on the high priest and cut off his ear. We know from another gospel that that man was Peter. It is not mentioned here. But Peter slices off his ear. Peter is now in danger of losing his life. But Jesus, we know from this other account, takes the ear and places it back onto the man. And yet they still took him to the cross. And Jesus in answer and said unto them, Are you come out, he's talking to the chief priests, as against the thief with swords and with staffs to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you took me not. But the scripture must be fulfilled. You know, when you look at scripture, it is more than just words on paper. It is an act 
that must be carried out. It is the script the actors play so that the whole play comes out flawlessly. And Jesus is playing his part for us. And they forsook him and fled. There's a sheep that scattered, as we talked about last time. And they followed him, a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about him. And this we believe to be the author of this book, John Mark. All right. And let's pick it up again. The young man having a linen cloth cast about him, about his naked body. And the young man laid hold of him, of them a young man. And when he left the linen cord, it fell from him, from them, naked. He fell to them naked as he's being turned over. So Jesus now is being taken uh, to before the high priest for his review. And he's going to be found flawless. But they're going to lie about him and put him to death. Jesus, the perfect lamb, delivered to the high priest according to the scripture and we always got to ask why why is this such an important story why would anybody care about a person being handed over and brought to the cross if it wasn't for an act of God to pull at people's hearts and to see that this man is indeed a savior a man who lived a perfect life a man you could put your faith in and be saved. The man who is also Lord and Savior. So if you do not know Jesus Christ, and you know you're a sinner, and the Holy Spirit's working in you right now, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, and guess what? Thou shalt be saved. Until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.